is the visit with the person of high strangeness. Um, last week we let you know that our diva cat, Miss E.T., had passed. And so there was a lot of, of the viewers that wanted to share their respects. And so we are now in the RV, um, since Miss E.T. loved the RV. And this was Miss E.T.'s first love, the cropper. Um, so we had a lot of viewers that came and sent some of these cards here to let us know how much they will miss me, Miss E.T. And then we also had a few people that had called and we had talked to them. And so we'll share that conversation with you now. We'll see you after a while. Hi, how are you? Fine, yeah, I I had um I I you you wanted to say a few things about E.T.? Yes I did. Well when I come to visit you at your home, uh Lillian, uh and I would bring my coat in and I would set it down on the couch and uh, and then I would put uh like my books or my daily planner uh, over next to the coffee table, or on the coffee table, uh, Miss E.T. would come up. If she didn't want it there, she would, uh, she would come up on the coat, and then she would look at me. And, and uh, she kind of had that look like it doesn't belong here. Yeah, she was so territorial. She was so territorial, and so then I would I would catch it right away, and I'd say, you don't want it there. And, and then I'd move it to, to like, uh, next to the coffee table. Well, she, she'd get on the coffee table, and she'd look at me again, meaning, uh, no, that's not the correct place either. So I'd have to put it over by the door. As you come in the door, I'd have to put things over there. Right next to, uh, first I'd ask, I'd ask you if it was all right, and you said yes. And uh, Miss E.T. would uh, just give you that kind of look as if, uh, hey, it doesn't belong here. Uh, I live here. And I'm telling you where to put it. Yeah, you know, I often thought she knows I couldn't bend down to pick up things too good. I, I think she kind of tried to get a handle on that for me, huh? Yes, I, I think that's what it was. She didn't want to. She didn't want it in your way at all. Yeah, and so she was very. Uh, she was very protective, very territorial. And uh, you know, there's times when she would come up next to me and uh, lay on my lap, and I would pet her. And, and then she'd purr a little bit, and all of a sudden, uh, she'd turn around and give me a little nip, as if to say. You know, the petting is done. I appreciated the petting, but I want no more petting. <laughs> she, she would, uh, then she'd get up and she'd turn in a, a different direction, and uh, uh, she'd, uh, she'd kind of throw that tail up in, up in the air right in front of you, you know, and, as if to say, uh, gosh, I appreciated that, but this is enough. Yeah, and then she hated you for months. Yes. Isn't that something? No, no do, do you remember? Uh, do you remember? Uh, well, I'm allergic to flea medicine, so. Oh, when I put that flea medicine on her, uh, I don't know if she hated me at all. I think she did. <laughs> I don't think she hated me. She just didn't move so quickly after we put that on. Yeah, she... she yeah, uh, she, and I didn't... Uh, you know, we just went by the directions, and I just followed the directions like they were said to do. Yeah. But she got sick. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you tried to give her a bath and stuff and get it off her, and and uh, she uh, she kind of went the other way. Yeah, you know, when I'd come to visit, she'd kind of go the other way, but she'd still come and say hi to me. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But she remembered you for a long time. She thought you was the guy that made us sick. <laughs> oh, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, oh, well, she was a character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I thank you a whole lot for being part of that little, you know, looking back on ET days. Oh, 
Yeah, she was special. Yeah, she was. Yeah, and uh, it still is special. Yeah. You know, she's, uh, especially when she'd stop in the middle of the road when you were walking, you know? Uh, yeah. Or she'd, uh, she'd climb on the table uh, just to uh, be, be next to you, and, and she liked the smell of cigarette smoke. Yes, she did. 11.30 in the morning, if I, I wasn't up, she'd come get me. Like, it's time for a cigarette. And the reason I know this is because when smokers are here, she didn't wake me up. She would just sit with them, you know. I think she, she was an addict. <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah. But then, uh, then the other thing is, the, the bathroom, you know, she'd go into the tub and lay in the water, and we still can't figure that out. Lay in the water, yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, and, and then... Uh, that night uh, that you were leaving, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, we haven't talked about that yet. We haven't gotten to that part yet, so I'm a, I'm going to tell that part. Oh, okay, I think that's special. Yeah. We'll let you do that. Yeah, I want to tell that part. Well, anyway, thank you very much for being part of the, uh, our little, oh, our little mem memories here, okay? Yes, Lillian. And I'm glad our telephone contraption worked. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, I might do this more often. How's that? Oh, that sounds good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well, as you saw, we had many calls, and we showed you just the one. Um, and as we were doing that, I remem I remembered that Miss E.T. used to lay on all the articles that Lillian wrote and books about music, which she loved. Um, so in remembrance of her, we are going to go out and celebrate her life with our man, Lenny Epps. And he's going to take us out with some James Brown. Yeah, at the Muckle Shoot. At the Muckle Shoot Casino. Yeah. Galaxy. That's Galaxy Room stuff there. She's still, we're going to bring it to you, but we're going to make you wait for a little while. Because Marvin Gaye is worth waiting for, right? But are, are y'all really ready to get down now? You don't sound like it to me. You want to know why? Because I'm ready to get up and do my thing. I want to get into it, y'all. You know, like a, like, a, like a sex machine. Moving, doing it, you know. Can I count it up? One, two, three, four. Get up. Get up. Stay on the scene. Get on up. I like a sex machine. Get on up. Get up. Get on up. Get up. Get on up. Stay on the scene. Get on up. I like a sex machine. Get on up. Get up.